Hello, and welcome back to another edition of the Medique Electrical Plugin. My name is Nathaniel P. Wilkerson, and today I wanted to talk a little bit about some uh, additions and updates to the electrical plugin that have been made recently. So, to begin with, um, I wanted to show you guys the new uh, service entrance or service entrance device uh, tool that I've added, and it's this icon right here after the uh, load center panel. Um, you have this icon. So let's go ahead and get into this and I'm going to go ahead and click that. And first thing you'll notice um, here when you click this, there are a few options, not very many actually for this uh, device, but you basically have two styles or types. One is a CSED and one is a meter socket. So the CSED just stands for Combined Service Entrance Device. Um, basically it combines a meter with a panel. So like, let's go ahead and uh, select this one by default and go ahead and pop that in there. So as you can see it will uh, draw that meter and the right now the way I have it set up is it will show the voltage uh, configured for that device as well as the amperage. It's not going to show like a part number as I previously had set it up but I think that's probably the most easiest and basic way to do this. So anyways yeah if you guys have any ideas on that or want to see something shown different or perhaps even another option um, go ahead and uh, fire me an email on that. So okay let's go ahead and uh, throw another one in there just to sh show this off a little bit. Uh, we have a meter socket option. I think I have two different meter sockets available. Uh, let's go ahead with the basic one here and as you can see it's pretty basic and then I think there's a couple here. I've this uh, twin unit that you can use. All right, all right. So um, yeah, just a couple of meter sockets, and I think I've got four different uh, square D uh, CSEDs available. Now the cool thing is with this, as it is with many of the other features in this plugin, um, if you jump here into this folder, into the SketchUp plugin folder, so <clears throat> under SketchUp, under well, actually under Roaming. This is on Windows Machine, of course. Go into SketchUp, and here I'm using SketchUp 2017. SketchUp again, Plugins. And then within the Plugins folder, you're going to see all the Medique uh, extensions. And I'm going to go ahead and jump into Electrical one. OK, so now once you get into here, you want to correctly navigate to the uh, subfolder where you can get into all these different pre-configured components. And again, you can use drop your own uh, components in here and and, uh, and go ahead and utilize those. So let's go ahead into library. Okay, and right here is CSED and also I want to point out miscellaneous. So let's go into CSED first. So CSED will have two subfolders. One is called CSED which is the combined um, units uh, and you can see I've got four of them here. And then in the MS which stands for meter socket you have two other units. Okay, so the thing that I really want to point out here is yes, you can use your own um, files, your own pre-configured components. Just like I said, make sure you use uh, alphanumeric naming conventions only. Try to stay away from double quotes, single quotes, anything like that. Um, but you want to do, you want to be aware of this little dimension file here. It's just a simple text file. If you do create and add um, your own components or files into these folders go ahead and add the sizes. Um, basically it's just the basic overall dimensions. Um, go ahead and put your the name of the file. You don't need the extension, just the the name. And then we I use vertical bars as delimiters here. And you can see up here the key kind of shows you the width, height, depth, and volume. The volume isn't required. You can put zero there if you like. Um, I'm going to eventually be using that uh, for certain boxes and stuff to help calculate uh, certain things but uh, yeah it's really not necessary but the other three dimensions will um, basically provide the preview and help positioning of the uh, component within the model so just want to be aware of if you do add a device into this subfolder the CSED folder um, go ahead and add that uh, device information into this uh, text file as well okay so and yeah you can edit these with a notepad with any you know, simple, uh, you know, word processing software that you like. All right, let's um, now look, I'm going to jump back out, move that off, and let's go ahead now and look at the miscellaneous uh, fixture tool. So this tool previously, I think if we open it up here, 
<clears throat> I think previously we had four different uh, things that were available. Thermostat, doorbell, doorbell chime, and doorbell transformer. So now I've added, well initially I added a disconnect switch. Let's go ahead and try that out here actually. So, and you'll see these often with like AC units, that sort of thing. Let's put one of those on another wall over here. Right, so you've got like a squared E version. I think I've got three of these now available here in the uh, in this folder that I pre-made. These are fairly low poly. Um, you know, I basically save you some time so you don't have to model these yourself. I think this is a squared E. And the, and the part numbers are what I have specified there for the file names. So and this is like a plastic one, and those are that's a steel one, and then you've got this other one here by Eaton as well. It's quite common. Um, again, same thing here. You can add in your own um, your own <clears throat> parts, uh, components, and um, yeah, it's pretty convenient. Let's go ahead now and talk about some of the other things that I've added. So, as you can see, there's actually a whole bunch of categories now that I've added, um, and not all of these actually have anything in them yet. So I haven't populated them with any kind of default thing. Let's go ahead and try the water heater one. Notice too when you select water heater the fixture height automatically sets to zero and that's by design. Um, of course you can offset that however you like. Um, the water heater actually if you add it you'll notice that it is positioned three inches from the wall. I don't know what the code exactly is on that but of course you can always reposition uh, things uh, as, as need be. So you can actually hop into this wall and then uh, move this back and forth however you need. I anywhere inside the wall actually. Um, you know, let's say I want to bump it out another foot for whatever reason. Um, and then if you regen that it will actually keep its position if I remember correctly. And, and you can always regen the wall. And it's not it, regen in the wall. By the way, does not regen any of these electrical components. They they are kind of self-standing groups within the wall itself, uh, within the wall assembly itself, and only the electrical plug-in actually will regenerate them. So, and to regenerate anything, of course, click here on this uh, regen electrical, and then go ahead and click the thing, and, and it will re regen it. So it actually regen it there. You didn't see that, but um, yeah. All right, um, <clears throat> what else, just talk about this thing. Um, so we've got uh, water heaters now, and let's jump back in here. And I want to show you guys. Uh, we've all, I've also added a generator here, kind of a typical thing you see sometimes. Now note that the generator and the water heater are, you know, they're actually inside the wall assemblies, and, and that's, you know, that's by design, of course, just like every other electrical component. Um, if you know, some there are situations, of course, maybe you don't want those uh, within the wall itself. I mean, the whole point of that, of course, is if this wall moves and you want this to stay relative to it, but you could always, um, you know, grab this outside, pull it outside of the wall assembly, and then it's kind of self standing. However, if you do do that, then um, you know, you lose the ability to edit and maneuver it. With the with the electrical plug-in, but you know there may be a situation where you're like I, I don't want that part of the actual wall assembly, so you can pull it out, and there's no harm in doing that, of course. All right, um, let's see now. Um, okay, so finally, um, as, as you notice, I've I've got a, like a generator a G here on the symbol for the uh, for the generator. Uh, of course, these disconnects have their own little symbol. Um, however, there might be situations where you have, um, I don't know, just miscellaneous sorts of electrical components or devices that um, you don't want a symbol drawn for, and you don't even want them part of your legend, your electrical legend. And so that's why I've actually created one last category here under the miscellaneous devices, and I'm going to show you guys that real quick. I just call it art because I don't know... Uh, you know, it could be a clock, it could be a piece of framed artwork. Let's go ahead and just use that wall clock that I did. And actually, um, we got to set that fixture height back high again because uh, let's try six feet. That should work. All right. Um, so let's go ahead and just put that right there. So, you know, this isn't really technically an electrical device. I would 
or fixture, I would say. I mean, yeah, I mean, it is an electrical device, I suppose. Um, but I just kind of wanted a kind of catch-all for kind of, you know, items that are kind of in that gray area that aren't really a well-defined uh, fixture or electrical thing that you would install with the house. But you do want it part of the wall assembly. And you do maybe, uh, you know, you just want to be able to keep that with the wall. So, I mean, if this wall moves, you want that wall clock to stay on that wall. Okay, so that that is the reason for that category. Also notice that no electrical symbol is created, and also if you do draw the legend, you're going to notice that there is no call out for this wall clock. It just it simply ignores it. So anything that's placed within the um, let's go back into that actually here in the miscellaneous folder, <clears throat> anything that's placed in the art or art folder is subfolder is going to be. Um, categorized as, as a non-listed item and you can see like here under generators I've got um, you know that one generator but you can put you know as many uh, components or files in here as you like and notice that you have at your disposal quite a few other items that have not been populated yet with anything but you can fill those up and and use it, utilize them as well all right I think that pretty much sums up what I was uh, intending to show you guys today on this um, but yeah, I will probably populate each one of those folders with at least one item just to give you kind of a flavor of, of what you can do with it. Um, and, you know, as, as time goes on, I'm sure I will find other uh, vendors or other items that people want to have added into the extension. I try to keep everything low poly and I am trying not to populate the folders too much simply because, I mean, you know, the, the more files I add, the larger uh, things get. But, you know, we want to keep within reason, of course. So anyways, uh, thank you guys for your support, and we will talk to you again soon.